Hello everybody, welcome, welcome back to Let's Build Roman City. Um, and I'm actually not in the uh, Mafia, I don't know when they got involved with this Let's Build. Uh, that was really random and bizarre. Uh, anyways, uh, th I'm Audie, this is my uh, Let's Build, we're on number, number four now, and uh, it's gonna be, uh, what are we making again? Oh, the temple, right, I, I nearly forgot. Um, but we're making a temple. Uh, and it's going to go up on that large hill uh, that I showed you before. And we're going to eventually make like a, a path over to it. Um, and it's going to be really interesting. So uh, for this one, you might notice I started off significantly larger. A lot of these things that I've been making here, um, they turned out pretty well. But they ended up not as big as I really wanted them to be. So I kind of started on a larger scale with this one. Uh, and it ended up still, again, not quite as big as, as I would have hoped. Um, but it's it's pretty big, so here you go. Take a look. So I started off here um, by, uh, you guessed it, clearing more land. Um, I know it's just an exhilarating thing to watch. Uh, actually, it's kind of cool in my opinion. But uh, basically, I started with here was I, I wanted a large flat space on top of this uh, really cool looking uh, natural Minecraft cave water thing um, and I got really lucky that it spawned in here uh, so I just started making a big flat space on top of it to uh, fit to fit the temple and it actually started off uh, not nearly big enough, in my opinion. Uh, as I said in the beginning, I wanted this to be quite a bit larger than the previous uh, buildings. Um, one, because the others turned out smaller than I thought they would. Um, but also, I just wanted this to be a really large, cool temple. I mean, uh, the Romans don't really don't really mess around when it comes to constructing their their temples. They're pretty serious about their their gods and stuff. So starting out here with the base, uh, this took quite a while to lay out this massive uh, uh, marble base. Actually, it's stone half slabs, um, but in this texture pack, I think it kind of resembles marble. And it's the closest thing to kind of just a, a plain white looking surface that I could get. Um, so as you watch the time lapse here, this, this probably took, I don't even know, I'm not even going to say how long. Um, but it took a while to get that all laid out, and then I go around the edge and kind of make it look nice. Um, but when, once we get the uh, base laid out here, we can start uh, erecting the structure itself. And I think this is where I realized uh, that I was going to have to go over all of it again. Um, because you can't build on half slabs unless you enjoy looking at that awkward little space between the the block as you see right there um, I'm gonna have to add another layer of, of uh, half bricks on top which isn't terrible I kinda did it in stages um, so it didn't really seem like it would take as long so I just laid out the, the perimeter first so I could start putting columns up So you see me kind of working out the spacing here uh, with the columns, and I ended up going with the same uh, stone brick as the other columns that were on like the town center, uh, and they look all right. I kind of wish there was a more circular object in Minecraft, but it is Minecraft, so apparently it's a little too much to ask for. Um, and then you see the second row going up here. Um, any pictures I looked at kind of showed that um, that there was going to be more than one row or at least on the larger temples that they had multiple uh, rows of columns in the front 
so that's what that's about. And then I will end up going down either side putting up uh, columns and in the back as well. And then uh, pretty soon here we can start laying on the roof. Now it was time to uh, go ahead and start the roof here, and uh, I tried a couple different things, but basically uh, what I wanted was a large slab looking object um, that kind of rested on top of the columns, and then the roof itself would actually start on top of that. Uh, so that's what you're seeing here, I'm kind of laying out the slab, trying it with a different, couple different patterns, and then uh, I'm going to be constructing the roof on top of the entire thing. So there goes the roof, and it's going to be at the same slope that I've done the rest of the, the roofs. Um, I contemplated doing a 2 to 1 to make it even shallower, uh, but for the thickness of that slab that we have there, it looked not very good. So uh, this, I think, was the best option, and I think it looks pretty good. Um, the uh, nether brick is... Uh, I also decided to stick with the nether brick for this. Um, the bricks just look too uh, d defined. I don't know. There's, they're, uh, they look a little advanced. It makes me think of like my neighbor's house, um, and and that wasn't good. I, I mean, they're they're nice people, and everything. Uh, really has nothing to do with my neighbors. I just like the nether brick better. Uh, and then once I get finished up here, uh, I'm gonna start putting in some more details, uh, and make the actual walls of the structure on the inside so there's an actual uh, indoor part rather than just being a large like covered patio. And also this is going to create uh, a large space here for uh, some decorative items there uh, in that top uh, triangle area. And uh, I, fi I fill that in a little later with some things. I try to make it... I felt like the uh, town center one was a little overwhelming almost. Uh, this one I tried to keep it a little more simple. I think it ended up looking good. You'll, you'll see it a little later on. And here I am uh, kind of fleshing out the, the hill that it's actually standing on. I wanted it to, I, I don't know, look like this. Um, <laughs> if you look at some pictures, it... the the staircase effect kind of goes all the way around the buildings, um, and so I wanted it to be more like that. And here we are inside uh, the building itself, uh, putting in the little soffits, I think that's what those are called up around the roof and then I'll eventually kind of close in an area um, with actual walls and I stuck with clay here uh, just because I think it's the, the best looking I, I laid out a bunch of materials uh, if there was in stone steps I think I would have used those because uh, those are kind of cool looking but there's no in stone steps there's also no clay steps so I don't know how that justifies clay Except for, I want it to be more uniform with the actual town. Uh, and we're going to get kind of an outer view here as I, as I uh, finish up those interior walls.
and we're going back inside here now. Um, I'm not going to do really a complete interior on this, but I wanted to kind of uh, make a, a, a good structural representation of how these uh, buildings are actually supported. Um, I, I found those cobblestone walls there, uh, which actually worked good as beams, and they look a little more crude, uh, like they, they weren't decorated up by the architect or anything. Uh, the engineer just stuck them in there and said, look, don't touch these or it will fall. Uh, but then around the sides I added, added some more aesthetic, aesthetic, aesthetic. That is not a made-up word, it's just hard to say. Uh, some aesthetic looking arches and then again I put some more uh, structural archways here which we're gonna get a different view on because these actually turned out really cool looking uh, and I'm gonna get side view so you can kinda see uh, what they look like better So here's kind of a, a side view, a pan across of the interior, and as you can see, uh, these structural archways are supposed to kind of be meant to support the beams, and then uh, everything is kind of resting on the columns that are on the outsides. And all of that is holding up the walls and supporting the roof. Um, so that's, that's kind of how it works, uh, kind of a, a general overview of uh, structural analysis of one of these buildings. And uh, other than a few more uh, little details I added in, uh, like this uh, roof you see here, that's pretty much it. Um, I'll give you an, another view of the inside here, uh, and that's it for this episode. Uh, that's, the, that's the temple. Um, as far as the next episode goes, um, people need a way to actually get up here uh, to the temple. So that's going to be the next episode, is uh, a winding path coming up to the temple. So. Uh, Stay tuned. Um, thanks for watching. Uh, like and subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time.